Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews and welcome to another episode of What's Poppin? Today I was at my favorite place, <laughs> this seems to be my favorite place lately, the Dollar Tree. And I came across a few different sodas out there. Didn't I've never seen these brands in the normal stores so I don't know if it's just the Dollar Tree got them because they were shipped somewhere else from somewhere else that they didn't sell or maybe it's just not in this area and they happen to get it from somewhere else I don't really know but I thought these at least two of them were unique and the other one I've never seen the brand before and I just kind of threw it in as a bonus so the first one that I've got that I'm going to try is the WBC Orange Cream Soda. Craft Soda, yeah. 100% real sugar. So, and on the back here it says, Who would dare assume to make our WBC Orange Cream Soda any better than it always has been? Well, we found a way. Natural flavors. The classic flavor has evolved into the best-selling orange cream soda we could ever imagine. The tartness of the Valencia orange flavor is proverbially balanced with the creamy vanilla notes. The result, a huge smile on your face. So that's the orange cream. I'm assuming it's going to taste like an orange cream creamsicle. I don't really know. but. That's that one. So that's going to be sweet. Now this one, I'm not sure about. <laughs> uh, this is the same company, WBC, and this is called Spicy Ginger. If you can see it. And again, this is a little story on the back. It says, our delicious WBC Spicy Ginger Soda will thrill you from the second you open the bottle. You'll be hit with invigorating and refreshing bouquet of natural ginger root with a hint of lime. The entice, the amazing natural flavor combined with 100% real sugar is the high quality spicy ginger soda that you've come to expect from WBC Craft Soda. This comes from WIT Beverage Company, so I guess you can go to their website and check them out. The calorie count for this one is 180 calories for the bottle. This one is 180, so it's the same. And the other one I got, just to kind of throw it in, I've never seen this brand before. It's a Welch's Sparkling Fruit Punch. So I don't really know this one says 120 for the 8 ounce so for 8 ounces is 120 so it's a little bit more in that one but anyway I thought I was going to try those three and so what I'm going to do is the first one I think I'm going to try uh, I think I'm going to try this spicy ginger because I have a feeling it's going to be very, I don't want to say tart, but it's going to be very intense in flavor and I think I might need some something sweet afterwards to kind of, kind of drown out the taste, but I'm going to go ahead and open this. Again, this has the bottle top on it, it's a glass bottle, so you need to open it up with a can opener. but. If you're really strong you can I guess twist it off okay wow there we go there's a little bit of smoke on there you can see it whoa oh oh yeah oh yeah I can really smell that it's more it's not a sweet ginger it's a spicy ginger real real sharp ginger flavor. This is almost like a really sharp ginger ale. They have a thing out there called ginger beer and so I think that's kind of what this is like. 
but I got a glass with some ice and I'm going to go ahead and give this a little pour. And see, a lot of fizzing. You can see the color of it is kind of a golden color. And again, in the bottle it's clear, so it's just a kind of brown, golden color. And now that the ice has cooled it down a little bit, I'm going to give this one a try and see what it tastes like. So here we go. Hmm, that's actually not too bad. The it's not sweet at all. It's more of a ginger ale flavor that I think of when I have ginger ale like either Canada Dry or Verner's or some of those other ones that are real natural ginger ale. It's not real, real sweet and it's actually pretty good. It's got that bite of the ginger. It does have spicy. I can't taste any lime in there even though they say there's a hint of lime in there. The carbonation is not overwhelming. It's actually fairly smooth, so it's pretty good. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. So I think I'll save my my opinion of that one. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up the orange cream WB. See? And here we go. Again. Nice little pop. Not too much smoke on this one. Ooh, yeah, that smells like... This one smells like a... Creamsicle. Yeah, I can smell that vanilla. That you'd have in if you'd had like a orange creamsicle bar so I'm gonna pour it in with some ice and so it's a nice orange color definitely smells just like an orange creamsicle and let's see how it tastes so here we go Hmm. Wow, that's nice. Very smooth. It's got, um, yeah, that creamy vanilla. Tastes almost like a, a creamy vanilla ice cream. The orange. This is a Valencia orange, so it's not as sour. It's got a nice little, nice little orange notes to it. It's not overwhelmingly orange like some of those orange sodas like Orange Crush or Orange Fanta or something like that so it's actually pretty good yeah this is actually really good on representing the orange cream soda hmm. that's actually good so now I'm just gonna try this one I don't expect a whole lot of it. It's gonna be like a fruit punch, maybe like a, um... <laughs> Learn my lessons with these. Don't open them up or they fizz everywhere. Take a little bit of pressure off at once. And, okay. So crack it open. Yeah, this is gonna be like, I think it's gonna be more like Hawaiian punch. But I don't think Hawaiian Punch is carbonated. I think this is going to kind of remind me of... It's either the Shasta or the store brand ones that they have. They're the Fruit Punch in the two liter bottles or the... Um, usually like you have, you'd have at parties, you'd get the cheap uh, two liter uh, bottles for like 99 cents or whatever. And it would be the sparkling fruit punch flavor <laughs> being like really cheap. So I think that's kind of what it is. Even though Welch's tends to have, you know, pretty good fruit juice. But see what the 
Here's the color. It's kind of orange, ready, red orange color. It smells like smells like the regular old fruit punch that I used to get. So here we go. Yeah, that's exactly like <laughs> the bargain fruit punch that you would get when you were little, you know, for birthday parties or something like that. You know, that people would go out and they'd get the <laughs> the generic two two liter bottles of the soda <laughs> and bring them in there because <laughs> they didn't want to give them the good stuff. <laughs> You'd take it to the party and then they'd... Uh, They'd get this fruit punch and grape and, you know, all those uh, knockoff brands. I <laughs> guess the kids didn't didn't know the difference, but, um, yeah, that's actually pretty good, so. Okay, so, to rank the sodas for the spicy ginger out of 11, I would give that a... I would give that a rock solid nine. Nine out of eleven. It's a nice, smooth little ginger ale type soda. They're calling it spicy ginger, but tastes a lot like a ginger ale. I was thinking when it was spicy, it was going to be like really sharp and really hot, like almost like a hot ginger. I've actually had a spicy ginger beer and it had like I don't know like pepper extract or something and it was real it was actually hot ginger and I didn't care for that one time that was a long time ago I don't know if I could find it again but anyway so I'd give that one a nine rock solid nine out of eleven if it was a little creamier I think it would be a little higher rating and the orange cream I'll have to give that one, it's not quite an 11, it is a 10. I'll give that a 10 out of 11. It's really smooth, tastes like a creamsicle. I'm only taking off the one point from the full rating just because it didn't have as much flavor as I would have liked in a cream soda, but it wasn't bad. So I give that one a 10. And on the Welch's Sparkling Fruit Punch, um, I have to give that about a 6. 6 out of 11. Half, about halfway. Uh, it, it did make me laugh to think back to when I was little and went to birthday parties and got the little cheap knockoff sodas. <laughs> So, I mean, it was only, like I said, it, these were all at the Dollar Tree. They were only a dollar. So this was a dollar, and, you know, I got the lid on it, and I can have a little bit more later on. But I don't know that I'd get that again. It's, the Fruit Punch isn't really my favorite, but especially the bargain brand ones. But anyway, that's my take on the um, sodas from the Dollar Tree. They had other ones there. They had, uh, believe it or not, they had a lot of Shasta. So maybe that'll be my next round. I might try some of the Shasta sodas. Can't find those too often. They were kind of the lower end of things. But So till next time on Drew's Food Reviews. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And feel free to hit the uh, subscribe button and the notification. So that way you won't miss any future videos. And also go ahead and take a look at uh, some of the past videos that I've put out there. Got quite a bit of content as far as food reviews and recipes that I've done and there's all kinds of different categories a little bit of something for everybody out there so till next time Andrew's food reviews I'll talk to you later cut take two I gotta have to stop laughing cuz okay <sighs> I don't know, sometimes I get a little goofy with these <laughs> food reviews. I guess it's uh, all the sugar from the <laughs> from the sodas that's making me a little bit <laughs> a little bit crazy. I I don't know, maybe too much 
too many food reviews at once. I don't know. But, okay, so. Uh, uh, okay. Compose myself and then I'll, I'll do a rating. <laughs> so, uh, I got the giggles here. Okay. Whew. Cut, take two. Cut, two. Cut, take two. Okay, okay. so I'm back. After I, uh, okay. So. <laughs> I guess the sugar is getting me, I'm telling you. I gotta, I, Cut. Take two. Hello everybody. Welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews. And welcome to another episode of What's Poppin'. Believe it or not, I was at my favorite place, the Dollar Street... Dollar... 